still have. Yes, master. Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, I'm finally back to working on R2-D2's legs. Here's a rough assembly of what the finished product is going to look like. I've already got all the pieces cut out, now I just need to glue them in place and then do a little bit of trimming and then the feet will be done. So, let's get started. meant to because then the legs wouldn't be able to fit in here. But let's do a test fit of the legs. Okay, both sides need to be trimmed here. But here's a, uh oh, look out. Alright, I don't want to try and do that again until I trim some of this stuff off. Let's try this one. Uh -huh. a little bit deeper than I thought, but there we go. Ta-da! This isn't going to be able to rotate or anything, but oh well. It works, kind of. There we go. So that's one foot down, one to go. pretty. It still needs to be trimmed, maybe sanded a little bit, and painted, and I can't, you know, fit these little things in there. And if I try and stuff them in, uh, this won't fit. So here's the other leg. Let's see how this fits in here. Perfect! See? Oh. This leg's a mess. There we go. Ta-da! See? So, two legs, two feet, pretty good. Wait till you see what everything looks like all together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. This is crazy. It's really starting to look like R2 now. I'm starting to geek out. <laughs> okay, so next on the agenda for R2 is to, first of all, before I do anything else, what I want to do is cut a hole in the bottom of this thing so I can wire it up with lights. And that's going to be interesting. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. Um, I'm going to have to be very careful for sure. Maybe get a clamp cut very, very slowly with a very sharp knife, maybe all the way around the edge. That way the inside will be hollow, so that way when the time comes and after it's skinned, I can go ahead and wire it up and put lights on them. And of course, I need to finish up the body and then attach the bottom like that. 
but wow. And I also need to figure out um, some shoulders for his arms, like something round and strong that'll go through to hold these things on. Like, I have no idea, maybe something big and round, maybe like an oatmeal container for a base or a, a model or something, but something like that. And after I do, yeah, I want to make armatures and then attach that and that in no particular order, whichever order I can. And then, of course, dead last is painting and finishing. Stay tuned for more R2 updates as time goes on. Okay guys, as you know, today is another Fan Art Friday, and as promised, here is a new piece of artwork. Now this one was suggested by, I believe, Jedi on board way back last year, but I wasn't in the mood for doing it. But I just did it now, so it's uh, Yoda doing snow angels, and it looks like he's having a pretty good time, <laughs> even though his hands and feet are bare. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to see more like them, go ahead and click that little subscription button below. Do you have a suggestion for next week's Fan Art Friday? Go ahead and post a comment. And the question of the day is, have you ever built a Star Wars model out of cardboard? What was it? And how old were you? And do you still have the model? So, until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi, signing off. Bye, guys.